Back to the action here in the Premier Volleyball League Open Conference. And we are in game number two of the finals. Commanding two sets to none lead. Para dito sa cream line for Smashers. And they actually started the set very strong with that early lead. Pumabul ng bahagya. Ito nga, Ateneo Motorite with six straight points. Pero nakabawi. At naitapos yun ng cream line ending at 25 to 20. Uh, just when we thought that it's gonna be a mirror image of the first set na kung saan started slow and humabol dun sa kalagitnaan. And then Lady, Eagle, Lady Eagles just was a little bit short after that run with the services from uh -huh. Bea de Leon. And it's all because the oh, step up talaga yung middles no, of the Kings Line Cool Smash. We have to give it to Risa Sato and Pao Soriana at that point. They were very aggressive with the block, as well as those power tips coming from the middle, exposing the weakness in the floor defense of the Lady Eagles. The Lady Eagles. Their blocking actually worked for a certain time in that set, but they could not sustain it all throughout. As we see here, the stats of uh, set number two, whose mashers again dominating the attacking department. Yun nga, yung sa block and serve, lumabas yan eh, yun yung kalagit na right. nung game natin with uh, aggressive serving coming from De Leon, forcing Morado to have just Gemma Galanza as an option in the left wing, kung saan nakabantay naman si Kato Lentino at si Imadi Madayag. And that's a good strategy for the Ateneo and they have to really work on that and I know that yun yung talagang system ni Coach Oliver is to serve tough and load up on the block. And the Cream Line Cool Smashers now up two sets to none in this game. Trying to put away the Ateneo Motorlite Lady Eagles and get that championship here in the Premier Volleyball League Open Conference. But Ateneo Motorlite, this is a team that has survived a lot of difficult situations that here in the cross. Open Conference. The mga five setter natin, pumabol sila, being down 18 to 6 in a set, at naipapanalo pa nila. But this is gonna be a slightly different situation because you got the well-oiled machine to smashers going Service. for the kill. How do you approach Morado. that uh, if you're the young players now of Ateneo Motolite? It's just really about consistency and starting from the reception. As Coach Oliver mentioned a while ago, hindi kailangan na perfect lagi yung pasa kay Dina, but just high enough Aldous. for her to be able to establish her footing. Two for the cool smash. Pero iba ang nasa isip dito ng Team Line 2 Smashers. Again, the second straight set. They get off, uh, they get off to an early good start. Two to nothing here Service. in set number Morado. three. And Gia Morado will do the serving here. Generecho kay Ravenna. Dina Wong. Well, set up Tacto Lentino. Atienza was there to pick it up. Morado to Valdez. And then si Wong. Ravenna. Tacto to Lentino here. Picked up by Galanza. One handed set. That's too low for Soriano. Held ball. A little too Hold tight on, on the first Marado. ball. Ni Gemma Galanza. Lady Eagles get even the first one handed set of Gia Morado. Meantime, let's go to Janine Choi for a report. Janine? More than an AJ, Kahina na tanong ko si Eliza Valdez. How she feels going up against the Lady Eagles. At ang sagot niya, it's weird. It's really weird going up against your previous team. Lalo na at naging teammates ko pa. Eh, basta kanila when I was still in Ateneo. But despite the rivalry for today's game, Eliza is very proud to see the Lady Eagles excel and even reach the finals here in the professional league. Ali is very proud to be a part and a product of Ateneo's volleyball system. At tatlong taon na ang nakalilipas ng gumraduate ng kolehiyo. But she said that this PBL Finals game feels like home. At malaki ang pasasalamat niya. So walang sawang support na binibigay ng kanyang mga fans. And Ali wants to give back to them by giving them an entertaining and exciting PBL Finals game. Balik sa inyo, Martin and AJ. Maraming salamat, Janine. Naku, pinaalala mo yung edad ni Anthony Eliza Valdez. That was already three years ago. Uh, when she spent her last playing year for the Ateneo Lady Eagles. remember when final year ko parang first year pa lang yata si I wasn't such a long time ago. Okay, okay, it's okay. Service. <laughs> Dele yung. You said ko nga, assistant coach mo nila. Oh, <laughs> si uh, Coach Ed Ortega, na nakausap natin kanina. Pero itong Ateneo Motolite, able to tie. Gumabaw. Set Through number three, but Gumabaw will respond. Getting the lead back for the Goose Mashers. Once again, 
again, Mabao on cue from the right wing, so that's what Gia Morado is trying to do as long as Michelle is in front. Give her a lot of attacking opportunities. Paul Soriano. And MG, like you mentioned, is the Serving X factor. for the cool smashers. Uh, para dito sa cream line cool smashers. He's been giving them not just points, but the crucial points. Naging importante yung ipinupuntos dito ni Michelle Gumabao. Ongay. Kander will fly. Andun si Valdez to pick it up. Morado to MG. Bouncing Mabaw, it off the blockers. The so Gumabao just Six, really showing three. raw power from the right wing. MG getting it through Kander and Madayag there. I was off the hand of uh, Vanny Gander, Service. the rookie Service. of the Lady Eagles. So now, a couple of points put up here by the Cruz Masters. Soriano using the net to her advantage. But Omaya angat ng Ateneo Moto Light. Soriano, or Tolentino rather, sending it Six outside. To three. A little bit overcooked in the part of Kat. Hesitant play again coming from her. And again, the execution has been shaky offensively Service. so far Sorry for uh, Ateneo Motolite. 6-3 to three lead here in set number 3. Dina Wong setting up Madayag. And then Chisato. Valentino from the other side. Valentino. She will score. The Sharp block. kill. 4. Serving 6. That's what the set that Cat Valentino wants from Dina is fast. Pretty max forces her to maximize her height. Kasi pag masyado na mamataas, nakapwesto na yung blocker. Serving for Atanay Motlai. Tusok na tusok pa rin yun. Kahit galing sa likod, para kay Kat Tolentino. Gumabaw, getting it through. Wow, ah, what a response the there. Coming from Seven. MG, Michelle Serving Gumabaw. Well, Gumabaw just really powering her way through, regardless of who is up in front of her. Hindi makakalain na she lost weight. Substitution, yeah. Atanay Motlai. Or pursue Five her out. dreams of being a beauty queen. But right now, she's all muscle and just <laughs> powering her way through. <laughs> Alam mo, nandun nag-trim down siya. Alam mo, mawawala yung konting power mula sa mga talo niya. But that's not happening. Mas malakas pa si Michelle Gumabaw. But as I mentioned, she commits the service error. Plus one for the Lady Eagles. Pati mo na naman. Okay. Second jinx of the match for me. And it's now 5 to 7. Ate Yomoto Light looking for answers here. Samantha Fanger. Now checking in for the first time. Serving for the Lady Eagles. Also a rookie for Coach Oliver Almadro. That's a good serve. Oh, Morado. Morado. Barely getting to the ball. Pero na iba ba pa yun? Nijia Morado to send us to our technical timeout. Cream line. Five. We're back here after the first technical timeout. Cream line still going strong with a three-point lead. Eight to five. Enough just really attacking the passing of the Ateneo Motolite Lady Eagles. Big numbers coming from Michelle Gumabao and Rita Sato. Even if Kai Mejotahimik Pasi, Eliza Valdez in her home court, it's not a big deal because everyone is contributing the cause right now for the team. Alright, we go back to the action here in the Premier Volleyball League Open Conference. Uh, Dr. AJ Pareja. We have Martin Avier here, also our panel at large, Nanjansi Janine Choi. And now, please download the I Want uh, TV app, I Want .ph, available of course at the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Mapapanood yun po yung mga coverage namin dito sa SNA, including for the, the Premier Volleyball Smashers. League. So download na ng ating I Want .ph. In the meantime, back to the action. That's Pongay Gaston, unable to score. Oh, well, play and Cream Line Crew Smashers, courtesy of Nine, that Risa five. Sato attack, able to take advantage. Cream Line Crew Smashers was making it look easy, coming from a good big, coming from Kai Atienza. Pakipatay po ang flash ng ating camera. Maraming salamat po. So it's 9 to 5 Gemma now. Galanza, the Cream Line Crew Smashers, Gemma Galanza, that's her uh, numbers today. Seven points so far. Cut with a pickup. Wong to Gaston. And that's Gaston, Gaston scoring the point off the, the block. Five, so Ateneo Motonay, Doc AJ, trying to keep in step with the Green Line Crew Smashers. 
Correction. here in our set three. Six to nine. So that's what the Lady Eagles can do right now is start to build their momentum. Yeah. Keep up fighting them like they're not doing this now. Serving for Adonai Mudlai. Aggressive server, so maybe they can make their run. Valdez with a pickup. This is Valdez again. Off the combination did not work. Sato with a tip. Wong going to Gaston. And that was not net. over for Pong Ten Gaston. And a back error for Ateneo Motolite will give the Cream Line Cruise Masters the four point advantage. And we have a couple of substitutions. Well, I think it's a Kupunani coach four. Oliver. Samonte. Samonte in. checking in now. Interesting Six. shift Risa in the Sun. passing formation of the Ateneo Motolite Lady Eagles. At Tolentino now being asked to receive for them. Yeah. Samonte. Valdez with a pickup. Soriano. Ravenna was there. Wong with a one-two. Bumaba with a dive. Here is Valdez. She is denied. But Paul is still alive. Valdez getting it through. Valdez. And Eliza the Valdez will score Rainer. the point. 11 to 6. 11 to 6 here in set number 3. And this is our Paco save of the day. Gemma Galanza keeping the ball alive, sending it straight to Morado to set up Valdez. Listen, listen to you, Eliza Valdez, just using again the blockers. Because it would approach me. It shows how she is not so comfortable. The rally continues. Samonte denied. Wow. Everything clicking now for the Cool Smashers. Timeout, Lady Eagle. Timeout, Dito. Six. Okay, now, Oxy Coach Atene Oliver Modlai. Almadro. 12. He wants Three to talk line. things over. Chagata is a ginagawa. We're doing good cut. Binitawan race and drop ball. Kung naman sobra ka na naman. Sasatin yung bola. Huwag ka magmadali sa pagtak. Nakalina. Kulang ka. Ngayon sobra ka. Read. Girls, we, you're doing good. Read. We really have to read. And there's that resounding statement mula dito kay Coach Oliver Almadro asking for better reads and don't force yourself to play perfect. Yan yung sinasabi niya rin na kasi he's noticing that the girls are getting frustrated with repeated unsuccessful attempts. So ang nangyayari para sino shortcut na nila yung ginagawa nila. So that's what he doesn't want the Lady Eagles will start to do. See how they will respond. Samonte on the push. Easily picked up by Gumabao. Soriano. That will not work. Valdez. Denied by the two blockers. De Leon. Did not work. The setup here by Sor Morado, Morado to Soriano will work. Soriano. Wow. On the quick play. And that was an awkward pickup. Getting this by Gia Morado. And it's just really the court awareness of the Green Line Cool Smashers being a more veteran team. Sabi ni Alabels. Alabels. Grabe both teams ay mga limaw maglaro. Paos na paos na kami dito. Go Wong and Galanza. I love you, Idol. Grabe siguro yung sigawan sa mga bahay ng mga fans ng dalawang teams na to. Si Jemuel, lockdown naman. Grabe ang intense ng second set. Go team line, cool smashers. Go, go, go. Stag PVL on ABS-CBN. And now, cool smashers are rolling on cue. They're up by 8 points. To see Chinita Service. Neren or Neren Rio Florido. Her second tweet here for Ateneo, go Cream Line. I've got you, but I'm rooting for the championship of Cream Line. Wow. At least make clear choice. But I did kay Neren. Valdez. Made her decision. <laughs> Yan, na siya. 15, serving six. And the Cool Smashers, as we say that, are now up by nine points. Their biggest here in set number three. And I was off an attack from Eliza Valdez. Bouncing it Service. off, Dina Wong. Line Cruise Masters just really showing experience in sa laro nila. Kahit hindi perfect yung bigay, hindi perfect, they're able to do something out of a bad situation. So here is Morado. Oh, free ball here. A chance for Ateneo Motolite. De Leon denied at the net. Wong. Sila naman ang nabigay ng free ball. Morado. Valdez with a push. Andin si De Leon. Morado. 
to Valdez, and she will score again. A 10-point advantage 16, for the Green Line Crew Smashers. Six, they want to take home Athena, the championship here inside the Batanga City Coliseum. Nagbabalik tayo sa Premier Volleyball League Open Conference. And nandito tayo sa set number three. Anxious fans, although they're still looking excited here, pero kinakabahan na siguro tong mga support or mga supporters ng Ateneo Moto Live because their team not just down by 10 points here, they're down two sets to none against the Cream Line Goose Mashers. And usually if your loyalty is just with one team, <laughs> If you're in the place of the Ateneo Motolite Lady Eagles fans right now, down na down ka. But oh. going up against Greenline na idols mo rin yung players, I'm sure hindi ganun kasakit sa kanila for them what they're seeing right now. Ama, meron pa rin kasi yung mga hating fans yeah. na nanonood ngayon. So either way, magse-celebrate sila. This is a 7 to nothing run launched Risa by the Greenline Coos Masters. for Greenline. To go up by 10 points. Kani kanina, it was 9 to 6. Net touch, Morado. And that run will end Seven off an error. 16. Net touch, ang pinawag dito against the Blue Smashers. A lucky break in the part of the Lady Eagles with a net touch by Gia. So, high time for them to turn things Dino up one. if they want Seven to extend this series Mokla. tomorrow. This will be... A tall mountain to climb. Valdez as Valdez, well, she has other ideas to seven. for the Green Line Cool Smashers. Being a look and puntos off this emphatic attack. And actually, three set three out, is when Eliza Valdez, Valdez woke up. In. Actually, yung first set was Michelle Gumabao. Gio second Morano. set was Word the Serving Middles, Pao Soriano, and Mrs. Sato. And right now, Eliza Valdez doing the damage. And that's a service ace 18 coming from seven. Gia Morado. 18 to 7 lead now for the Cruise Masters. And to Matapos para sa kanila, Eliza Valdez and Gia Morado. Time out on the floor for Coach Lady Oliver. Lady Eagles. But mapipitawan. It's your job. Mapipitawan. Kung kinakalang bumungo ka sa kanya, no problem. Pero yung wala kang gagawin, hihintay mo sa kanya, hindi. Mortal sin yan. Girls. Expect from yourself first. Don't expect anybody to, to, to do your job. It's really mo na natin tindi natin. Then let's take it from there. Eh, nangyayari. Anong gagawin niya? Anong gagawin niya? Ito gagawin ko. Yan ang gawin mo. Ito gagawin ko, ha? So we have to be specific first. That is Coach uh, Oliver Almadro. Siyempre, pag niisip mo kung anong gagawin ng teammates mo, ang nangyayari sa'yo, tentative ka na, hindi na buo yung loob mo dun sa talagang role mo on the floor. And that has been the story for most part of this match for the Lady Eagles is yun nga, hinahanap ni Coach Oliver yung initiative from each player to do their own responsibilities and not mind others. Of course, you're a team. You know? Of course, you have to work in a system. But if you're starting to overlook your own responsibilities, you'll be the concern of Coach Oliver. It's been happening all throughout the match here for the Ateneo Motolite Lady Eagles. Plus one for Jules Samonte sending it straight to the net. Again, the Lady Eagles could not compound on the point scored earlier by Cap Tolentino. Binigay ang bola dito sa Green Line 2 Smashers. They are now the six third. points away from taking home the Open Conference Championship. That's Fanner. Oh. Samantha Nine, Fanner, yes, scoring 19. the point. Out of a check ball from Coach Tai. <laughs> <laughs> Providing some comic relief here. Kaya pa kunin ni Gia eh. Sinuwa ni Coach Tai. Team Captain. That was patay Malaysia na lang siya. Ayo De Leon with a good serve. That's going to be an ace for BTL. Receive, 10 to 19. So baba sa siyam na puntos. Ang lamang ng Cool Smashers. Lady Eagles finally stringing a couple of points here in Service. set number three. De Leon. De Leon. 
That's another nice serve. Morado setting up Gumaba oh, for the kill. The Just when I was gonna 20. say, Martin, na uh, yun yung nagpahabol kanina sa kanila eh, yung tuloy-tuloy na service ni Bea de Leon. Wala, tinigil ka agad ni Michelle. Substitution. Again, Michelle Gumaba coming up with the important Ten points for the Cream Line Crew Smashers. That one, or that time, uh, to fend off the uprising started by the Lady the Eagles. Serve. So, eto na. Si Phil Kaingat Cayetano. Samonte setting up Fanger on the runner. This is gonna be a free ball for Ateneo Motolite. Maraginot. Tolentino. Tolentino. Down the line. Down the line. Tolentino just using. 11 to 20. Or just deciding to go for a down the line attack with Gemma Galanza as the shorter blocker. I'm sure that has been Coach Oliver's intention yeah. from the beginning. It's just Cato that Lentino. Cato Lentino hasn't had or haven't, hasn't had much opportunities to hit from the right. So Morado will set up Galanza. Galanza Abumawi naman para dito sa Cruise Smashers. To 11. It's 21 serving 11 now. That's the thing, if you're a blocker going up against Gemma Galanza, you're blocking at the half pace. Yeah. Service. So she's very Number much seven, efficient Michelle in using Gumala. or tooling the block or yung pacheck na tinatawag. Avena over receiving it, Sato. Alabas. Yung regalo ni Risa Sato. 12 to 21. Pa puntos para dito sa Atene Motolite. Asking for the check, see Captain Eliza Valdez from that regalo ni Sato. Yeah. Uh, Sam first Fanger. referee Bob Malena will not grant it. Substitution. So, Palita ng center para sa Ateneo Motolite. Dina Wong coming Three. in for Jaja Maraginot. In. And quality minutes ang ibinibigay ng isa pang Fanger. rookie nila. Si Samantha Fanger. He has played a lot here in set number three. Fanger, oh. Service Overcooks the serve. Cannot afford it right now with just three points away wow. from claiming the crown for the Cool Smashers. The Green Line fans, they're feeling it. They're inside the Batanga City Coliseum. 22 to 12. Cool Smashers. And Gemma Galanza will serve here. Dina Wong. Three ball for Cream Line. Again, Ateneo a little bit hesitant, and that leads to that attack by Eliza Valdez. 23 to 12. Story of their match so far. A lot of communication errors and hesitation. And over on the other side, it's just clean plays coming from the Cool Smashers. They're just really Service. taking advantage of the lapses in the youth of the Ateneo Motolite League. And it is closeout time for the Korean Man Cool Smashers. Morado, back set. Off speed, nayang out ni Wong. Ravenna, Torrentino. And dun si Gumabao. Here is Morado. To Valdez on the drop. Kept alive. Samonte sending it across. Morado to Sato. Sato into the block. And Risa Sato will send the cream line to Smashers match to match point 24 to 12. Cream line to Smashers right now at gold medal point. And Serving just the amazing to see the veteran play style of the Cream and Cool Smashers. They're, they're not afraid of committing any error, just, they're just doing their own responsibilities. Valdez denied. With a and the Lady Eagles will save a match point. But they are down big. This is 11 points. Maddie Madayag will go back to the service line. Let's see if Maddie Madayag can Madaya. still turn things around. She's known to be a Eagles. good server. Right. Natin. Oh, sino ita target na dito? Oh, she targets going. Morado, the quick to Sato. Too low not for Sato. So that's two straight points 13. for Ateneo Motolai. It's actually a good location for her to target. Kung may ibibigay niya pa ng konti kay Eliza. Uh, lead is trimmed down to 10 points. Ateneo Motolai, they need Matayag. to play perfect volleyball. Morado, Sato, championship point for Cream Line. Samonte puts it down but kept alive. Wong, 
Samonte again. Going will pick it up. Morado. Valdez. Denied by two blockers. Valdez. Well read by De Leon. So the blocking of the Lady Eagles coming alive here. Just when they're off on the edge. And timeout here. Time out. Called Cold by Coach Tai. He wants to get the championship point for his team. I think that was from assistant coach Ed Ortega for Coach Tai. This championship and this uh, impending game to win, if ever they pull it off, will be for Coach Tai Bundit. He will depart match point the Philippines the right Smashers. after their final the series. Belongs to the Lady Eagles. Madi Madi Madayag. Madayag. They'll try to challenge that. That's a good serve. Risa. Valdez will give up the high free ball. Kina Wong. Samonte. Denied. Samonte. Well and that's it. Morado. The Green Line Two Smashers are your 2018 Premier Volleyball League Open Conference Champions. The Cool Smashers making history in the second season of the PVL. What a story for this uh, team, Doc AJ. Just the Green Line Cool Smashers proving that they're the strongest club team right now in the PVL Open Conference and defending their crown from the reinforced conference. So just really showing the domination, yung yeah. anilang experience. Oh, you veteran. But you also got to give credit to uh, the Ateneo Motolite Lady Eagles. This is their first uh, major tournament ever since the coaching change. Now Coach Oliver Amadro at the helm. And not just doing well, but making it all the way to the finals. That's just a great achievement yeah. for this program. And it's a tall order beating professional teams That's right. along the way. And for a college collegiate team, it would be threatening for other college teams coming to UAAP. But this afternoon, this day, belongs to the Cream Line Cool Smashers as they take the championship here in the Premier Volleyball League Open Conference. Another dominating performance. Both games po natin dito sa championship round. Uh, swept by the Cool Smashers. 25 to 20, 25 to 20, and 25. So 15, anticipating every adjustment that Coach uh, Oliver made in this particular game. And Doc AJ, uh, any thoughts on the composure? Because when we started the season, the Cool Smashers actually had the loss to open their uh, conference. But they were able to pick it up and they picked it at the right time. Uh, in this open conference, that's why pagdating dito sa ating finals, uh, flawless na yung nilalaro ng volleyball nila. Yeah, and as I mentioned dun sa analysis ko pre-finals, no, Teamline Cool Smashers, ang critic sa kanila is they're a one-man dominated team by Eliza Valdez. But to their, uh, in fairness to them, it's because during the eliminations, we've seen a lot of. Uh, players not suiting up yeah. for the cream line we had Risa Sato, Michelle Gumabao and Pau Soriano at some point not playing for the cream line cool smashers during the eliminations and it has been Eliza, Gemma and Gia really yeah. taking in all the responsibility and they just carried the team all throughout the eliminations but come semifinals when they were already at full force that's right. where we saw why Creamline is the defending champion from the reinforced conference and why they are much so deserving as the champion for the open conference. You saw there earlier, uh, those are great points to sum up the season here for the Creamline 2 Smashers and Coach Tai Bundit will leave the Philippines with another championship to add to his uh, trophy case as we now go to Janine Choi. Janine? So Michelle, first of all, congratulations, but more than the experience, sa palagay mo, ano pa yung naging susi in winning the PVL Open Conference Championship? 
It was a great effort of the whole team from our bench during practice to the first six here inside the court. But most of all, it was Coach Tai, the inspiration that he gave us. And we know that it's not yet sure if he's coming back for next year. So we wanted this championship for him. I know the Sun Press was pretty busy for you, juggling your duties for Creamline and your duties as been a being in Filipinas Globe 2018. How did you manage? It was just really the support of everyone, my family, my Creamline family, and my Binibining Filipinas family. They knew how to support me, when to support me, when to give the time for each of my priorities. And chagalang talaga, my teammates, they were always there during at the height of my condition and even during nung wala akong conditions of volleyball, they were always very supportive. And syempre, God was always there supporting me and really just giving me the strength to do everything. Do you have any shout out? Of course, it's my dad's birthday! And I really played hard today for him. And I know he's not here, but Papa, this is for you. Sir Jonathan, thank you so much. Of course, to Sir Rolly, everybody. Sir Alan, thank you so much for the support. To our Rebisco Creamline family, to all of our supporters, thank you so much. This second championship is for all you guys. There you have it, our player of the game. Back to you, Martin and AJ. Um, salamat, Janine, and that's another great performance. A champion once again is Michelle Gumabao. Uh, this is our final score, three sets to none win by the Cream Line Crew Smashers to take the championship. Magbabalik tayo for the awarding ceremony. Premier Volleyball League. Mr. Richard N. Palu, President, Sports Vision Management Group. Mr. Dino Lorena, Head. Integrated Sports. And Mr. Berg Capis, Head of Sports and Action Finance. Let us welcome our silver medalists, our Ateneo Modelite Lady Eagles. Let's begin with the team captain, number 14. Bea De Leon. Number one, Daniel Therese Ravenna. Number three, Maria Dina Isabella Wong. Number four, Julianne Marie Samonte. Number five, Vanessa Gambler. Number six, Jaja Maraginot. Number seven, Madeleine Renea Madayag. Number nine, Pauline Marie Gaston. Number ten, Katrina May Tolentino. Number eleven, Erika Beatriz Raagas. Number 17, Ayumi Furukawa. Number 18, Cassandra Hekeliana. Number 19, Samantha Fanger. Number 21, Jason Ann De Los Reyes. They are mentored by their head coach, Mr. Oliver Almagro, and second coach, Mr. Jared Hubalde. Congratulations to our Lady Eagles for taking home the silver medal for Season 2, the Open Conference of the Premier Volleyball League. And now, let us welcome our champions, our Creamline Cool Smashers, led by their team captain, number 2, Alisa Valdez. Number one, Paula Marie Maninang. Number three, Colleen Loris Bravo. Number five, Risa Sato. Number six, Jem Nicole Gutierrez. Number seven, Michelle Gumabao. Number ten, Paulina Soriano. Number eleven, Kyla Atienza. Number twelve, Julia Melissa Morado. Number 13, Alexine Danielle Cabanos. Number 14, Riza Mandapat. Number 15, Jessica Margaret Galanza. 
Number 22, Melissa Going. Number 25, Phil Cayetano. They are mentored by their head coach, Anusorn Tai Bundit, and second coach, Ed Ortega, plus the management staff of Creamline. This award goes to none other than this conference's best setter, number 12, Julia Melissa Morado. Congratulations, Gia, for getting the MVP of the finals award for this conference. Congratulations sa lahat ng mga nanalo at thank you sa ating mga presenters at sa ating mga manonood. See you all next conference! Nanonood pa rin kayo ng Premier Volleyball League Open Conference and right after the awarding ceremony once again, in-award na natin ang ating first runner-up Ateneo Motolite Lady Eagles and of course the champions for the second time this season the Creamline Cool Smashers you guys are joined by Martin Avier AJ Pareja panel at large Janine Choi guys, what did you think of the game? Let's start off with our panel at large here Janine you know, it's really, it's really nice because earlier, before speaking to the Cool Smashers players, nila, this game is for Coach Tai. Coach Tai. We don't want him to go back to Thailand without a victory in his right. film. Yeah, it's really seeing all of these players rejoicing like this and offering it all for Coach Tai. That's right. What a sweet farewell para dito kay yes, Coach Tai did ending his career, coaching career here, at least for the meantime, in the Philippines with a championship. Ikaw naman, Doc AJ, what are your thoughts on this matchup? Uh, dominating performance by Creamline for the second straight game. Yeah, just when we thought that it's going to be a really tight match towards the end with a strong outing of Ateneo during the first part of the first set, it's not... Yeah. Mas maganda sana kung mas nag five sets tayo yeah. to more drama for the series. But Ateneo going so far into the finals is a very tall order for them and I couldn't be more proud of them for the Lady Eagles. And I'm expecting a lot from them come UAAP. Cool Smashers. Hindi pinagbigyan itong Ateneo Motolite Lady Eagles. At kasama natin ang ating finals MVP. Her second finals MVP this year, si Gia Murado, also our best setter. Hello Gia, how are you? <laughs> okay, you had excellent uh, games in both game number one, game number two. 
talagang nilito mo yung depensa nitong uh, Ate Mayo. What was your motivation? What was your mindset going into this finals? Uh, I guess, first of all, this win is really for Coach Tai Bundit, who has always been there and who has always been patient and training us. And wala, sobrang big win nito for him. And also, I wouldn't be able to do that if it weren't for my teammates who helped me as well. That's right. Excellent playmaking. Ikaw dong, AJ. And I just congratulate you, Gia. Being the best setter, you activated all the players, all the attackers. Michelle Gumabong in the first set, the middles in the second set, Eliza Valdez towards the end. And the big question lang is, what's next for Gia Morado and Creamline Food Smash? Loaded question. Galing kay Doc AJ. <laughs> um, well, come January, we go we're going to have to train again from zero. And I'm pretty sure... Um, more players and more teams will be challenging us uh, the next conferences. So, uh, same as last conference after winning the championship, we really have to train harder because for sure there will be targets on our backs for the next conference. So, Gia, Coach Tai was your collegiate coach and now how grateful are you that he's still your coach here in the pros? I'm really grateful because he has always um, believed in me, especially in times when I've doubted myself. And in the times that I feel like I've reached my peak, mm -hmm. he has always told me that I can be better. And he believes in <laughs> all the players that have been That's it, your teammates, mo, Gia. And this is your opportunity to send out a message, a shout-out, thank yous para sa lahat ng supporters nyo na nagpunta dito sa Batanga City Coliseum, pati na rin yung nakatutok sa kanika nilang mga tahanan. To all the Cream 9 fans, thank you so much for coming to support us and all the PBL fans as well for supporting Ateneo as well. They gave us a really good fight. And to all our families and loved ones, thank you also for being patient with us and loving us despite the crazy training schedules and everything. So thank you so much and we hope to see you next conference. Your finals MVP, Gia Murado, 39 excellent sets. And that wraps up the entire season here, the second season of the Premier Volleyball League. Maraming salamat po sa lahat ng mga pamilyang tumutok sa atin simula pa lang ng ating reinforced conference, collegiate conference, at dito sa ating uh, open conference. In behalf of our broadcast team here, my partner, Doc AJ Pareja, our panel at large, Janine Choi. This is Martin Avier. Oh, together also with our executive producer, Ms. Malu Neri, our associate producer, Ms. Eva de los Reyes, and our director, Mr. Al Neri, as well as our panel director, uh, Ms. Miki Mirabueno, and then si James Mendoza, our uh, floor director. Maraming salamat po sa pagtutok nyo ng Premier Volleyball League Open Conference. This concludes the second season of the PVL right here on F A. Listen up, there's not a thing that I can get from you Boy, I don't need that much, need that much How can I tell you what I wanna do? I never needed you to give me things I never needed gifts or diamond rings All I ever need, I need, I All I ever need is here with you It's so